couldn't talk about my alcohol problem. Yeah, I had, I had a big problem there in Jakarta. The alcohol was too expensive. <laughs> they told me it would be a lot of Jakartans here tonight. So I was like, yeah, fresh money. Because we all know all the bullies here, we don't have any money anymore. I mean, if we had, we are already back in Europe. Come. So, yeah, I'm Alex, and let me start with saying, doing stand-up comedy, it's not easy. No, it's not. I swear. And then this idiot, he thought, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should do it in Indonesian. Yeah, why not? As it isn't difficult enough in your own language. So what I did, I applied for an audition to do a stand-up comedy show for national TV in Indonesia. The show was called Suci 1X. They knew me as Bule Kiri. That means the poor bully, which I was the poorest of all. And it was quite difficult being there. I mean, normally I like sarcasm. I'm quite offensive. And I couldn't do that there. I mean, for example, this one joke. I had this one joke that I talk about my wife, that she left me. <laughs> yeah, my wife, she left me for my best friend. <laughs> and it's really, really tough for me. I mean, I miss, I miss my best friend. Nobody laughed. They all looked at me and they go like, oh, why didn't you call him? <laughs> so clearly, Indonesians, they love their friend a lot more than their wife. But they can because they can, uh, they can actually get three wives. We only can get one. So what I also couldn't do was because it was for television. A lot of things were censored. And I, I couldn't talk about my alcohol problem. Yeah, I had, I had a big problem there in Jakarta. The alcohol was too expensive. Thank you. <laughs> and then... I couldn't talk about my girlfriend. No, because my wife decided also to watch the program. And nothing about religion. Then I had long hair and I looked like Jesus. I was like, I want to talk about the fact. And they go like, no, 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 you can't talk about Jesus. But then every time I arrive in the studio, there's this security guard, and he goes like, yeah, yeah, stop. And he starts feeling me. And then every time he would, boom. And I go, Jesus. Okay, it didn't work that much. <laughs> so, yeah. It was quite tough being there. But I met a lot of interesting people, a lot of new friends. And one of the comedians that I met, great dude, his name is Ichal Kati. Ichal Kati, let me phrase it, he's... He looks like a 10-year-old boy, but in fact, he's older than 25. So he's the wet dream for all pedophiles that want to be legal. <laughs> so yeah, being a legal pedophile, that's like playing blackjack. You know, 21, the card game? Your goal is to get above 20, but somehow you're always under 12. Yeah. If there's something that I learned from doing the stand-up comedy there is that, now let's, let's keep it with Ichal. Actually, Ichal wanted to perform here. He said, Alex, I want to come to Bali. I want to perform in Bali. I said, well, that's fine. Come up, but it's in English. He's like, yeah, me no good English. Alex, you help? I'm like, yeah, of course I help you. It's like, so remember, Ichal is that big like this. So I say, you go on stage and you say, hello, everybody. I'm going to be the biggest comedian tonight. And he looked at me and said, but I am the smallest. I'm like, that's the joke. <laughs> but what I learned is that not only our comedy is different, but a lot of ways we think. And it's important for us bullies. And I can point at all of you. If you want to fit in with local people, you should at least learn the language, yeah? So if you learn the language and you're fitting in with that pretty local girl, if she starts screaming, sakit, sakit, then at least you know 
that your penis is too big. And on that note, I will end. Thank you.